Hey guys, it's Bub here. In almost two weeks, Microsoft will publicly release Windows 11 for anyone who has a supported computer. For those who have a supported computer, you may be confused on how to upgrade to Windows 11. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to A, make sure your computer is compatible with Windows 11, and B, how to actually upgrade to Windows 11. The first thing that we need to do is actually make sure our computer works with Windows 11. And to do that, we're going to go ahead and use the Windows PC Health Check setup. Previously, I would have recommended you to use something like Why Not Windows 11. However, the PC Health Check, I believe, has been updated with more details to tell you why your computer isn't actually supported, which is why we're using the official one. To download this, all we have to do is just do a simple search for Windows PC Health Check. And you can find it basically everywhere because at this point it is a huge good thing for Microsoft. So again, we're just installing it right now. So all we have to do is go ahead and click check now and it'll say great news. Windows 11 is coming soon, blah, 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 blah. Now, if you if it says something else, you'll be able to click on see more results and it will tell you exactly what is missing. If you don't have a supported processor, there's really nothing we can do for that. A lot of the supported processors for Windows 11 already have TPM 2.0 built in. So you're gonna have to Google how to actually enable TPM on your specific motherboard, but it's basically in the BIOS under security options. In my opinion, that is the hardest part of upgrading in Windows 11 because you have to go mess around in the BIOS. But great, our computer is completely compatible with Windows 11. So let's go ahead and upgrade. Now, normal people would go into the Windows update and update that way. However, I'm not sure if it's because I'm not activated. I don't see the Windows 11 banner here. I am fully up to date on Windows 10. This is 21H1 with the latest security updates and things. So it's not showing up there. Also, I didn't register for the Insider program on this machine yet. However, the way that I always personally upgrade my machines is through an ISO or the media creation tool. So this Windows 11 ISO is the latest one that I was able to download from Microsoft's Insider website, and I'm sure it'll be the same thing on the official release day. They'll have ISOs ready to download. So all we have to do is go ahead and open this and launch setup.exe. So all we have to do is go ahead and run the setup, and it will go ahead and bring us here to install Windows 11. We can download updates, drivers, and optimal features now, which we of course want to do. So now it's going to check for updates. It shouldn't find any updates. This is the newest beta channel ISO that I could download. And I have read somewhere that this is actually the version that they'll be releasing on October 5th, which is pretty exciting. Of course, these are our updated license terms, June 2021. So we can just accept those. And now it's going to check and see if we are actually eligible to upgrade. If your computer isn't eligible to upgrade, that'll be shown here. And as far as I know, there is no way to bypass those TPM and processor requirements without actually formatting and reinstalling Windows. But if you have a computer like mine where you need to keep all of your files and stuff, we obviously don't want to be doing a brand new clean install of Windows 11. That would just take way too long and we'd lose too much data. So automatically after it runs through that setup and making sure you're ready to install, if there's no other problems with your installation, like there's no incompatible programs, incompatible anything, we're gonna see what are options. It'll automatically detect the addition of Windows that you have installed. So in this case, we're going to be installing Windows 11 Pro. If you have Home or Enterprise or anything like that, it'll automatically detect it and download the right version. As for keeping files, we can go ahead and keep personal files, personal files, or nothing. Again, I would, I would recommend keeping that, but if you want to delete your apps, then that's on you. In my last video, I did install Windows 11 on an unsupported machine which actually showed pretty interesting results, considering the fact that Windows 11 did actually run fairly decent on that older machine. So I don't know why we've eliminated so many computers from upgrading, but that is completely not my call. So now we're installing Windows 11. It looks basically exactly like the installing Windows 10 screen, except it says Windows 11. We can still access our start menu. However, I would really not recommend opening that or doing really anything with that right now because it's upgrading your machine. So just go ahead, sit back, don't touch your machine, let it install, it'll reboot and go through all kinds of things like that. We'll be back when we're hopefully in Windows 11. So the first thing I noticed is that the Windows Store opened automatically. I don't know if this was some kind of glitch or if it's meant to show off the new design of the Windows Store, but either way we can just go ahead and ignore that. 
So the first thing you notice is that our colors are way off. Um, we have this dark background and the taskbar and the system theme and the start menu for that matter is white. I um, mean, it just doesn't look right. So I would recommend personalization and then themes and then pick a dark mode theme. I think you can change that somewhere in here, but I don't have Windows activated, so I can't right now. Other than that, there is really nothing else to do besides just go ahead and check your drivers by opening Device Manager and making sure that all the drivers are installed. If you see anything with a yellow exclamation or question mark, that might be something you want to take a look at. But it looks like everything successfully upgraded and everything is all good to go. So we did a successful upgrade on this machine. With that being said, you've now successfully upgraded your machine to Windows 11. We went from Windows 10 to Windows 11, and I think because my computer does have that 10700K in an SSD, it only took about 20 minutes for the upgrade to complete, which honestly is not that bad. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new around here, as I do all kinds of technology videos, including device restorations. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.